Okay, everybody, one of my projects I want to get into now. I got time, I think. I want to take this another uh, heirloom. I'm not sure the history on this at all. It has a Native American on the leather. I don't, I do know I had cleaned it up enough to find out it says York Cutlery, uh, Solage in Germany. The she says made in Germany. This says made in Germany and it says number 634. So I cleaned it up enough to get that. It's got a lot of rust. This is quite old. So I think I'll be kind of curious how that cleans up. You know what I mean? This might be pretty cool. I uh, won't be able to fix the strap. It'll be as is right there. I can fix it, but I'm gonna leave it as is. That's just shows the age of it. You know what I mean? But I will condition this and clean it up. That obviously has some kind of oil on there or something. But here's the before. Okay. And then I'll do an afterwards. Okay, guys. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I just got done throwing, taking a little break. Okay, here's the uh, leather sheath. Okay, you saw the before. I even got the uh, rivets in the back cleaned up pretty good. I, I got conditioner on there, so it's dark right now. It looks like it's lightening up, but now you can see the Native American sheath right there. I got that nice and shiny. Got the up here shiny. Too bad it's missing that one snap. But uh, yeah, made in Germany. See that? Very cool. Here we go. Came out pretty good. I can't believe I almost just wrote this off. This is going back inside. Check it out. You saw the before. It does say right there, York Cutler Cutlery. Uh, Sologen, Germany. Look how good that came out, man. I am so proud of that. And look, there's the number. Right there. 634. Now, what I learned while doing it, it's amazing what you find out when you start getting into it. Okay, I got... See, I got most of the... I got the rust off pretty good. Now, I'll tell you, from looking at this, I gotta, I gotta talk to my family. I gotta find out the history on this one. Uh, they took really good care of this knife. Look, I mean, look at the look at the point. They sharpened it well. I mean, what you see there is just from uh, the rust that was put in there. Look at that top. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the brass. And what I found out, this is real, real antler. I could smell it because I cleaned it. This is leather right here. And look at the bolster. It looks like it's nickel and then look at that brass. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is the restoration of the York Cutlery antler. I'll look at the number, the six fixed blade knife number uh, 634 okay and it goes into the sheath this is going back in the house guys check that out this really cleaned up good too I cleaned up that handle it was filthy look at that I'm sorry I'm just mesmerized I feel like I got me a new knife this is like a mail call I almost just wrote this off. Okay, guys, that's the restoration of the uh, York Cutlery 634 fixed blade knife.